Hey everybody, this is Perch, and here's a viewer who's frustrated about distribution, because, I mean, why why wouldn't you be? I mean, at this point, uh, I mean, distribution is a train wreck, so, I mean, surely you're, surely you're frustrated about distribution, right? I know I am. Anyway, here's the mail. It says, hey Perch, after decades, I have recently started reading comics again, and what a fucking backwards proposition buying new issues and tracking down box back issues is. In this day and age, where Disney's uh, vaunted Vaunted vault, vaunted vault, vault, vaulted, vaunted, vaunted, yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, their vault is now cracked open for $10 monthly. You have access to thousands of movies and TV series through Netflix, Amazon Prime, HBO Max, and all the other Plus Max streaming options, and almost every damn song from A to Z and all podcasts in between for $15 a month. By the way, I'm subscribed to Apple Music, and uh, that's a good service. I, I don't you know, like I the, the so I said this at one point a bunch of people were like ah Apple Music what an idiot Apple first of all Apple Music is way better than Amazon it's way better than Spotify in terms of library content and the quality of the music that comes over and the accessibility where you could toss it I'm sorry and plus it's you know if you bought a new iPhone last two years it's free like what what are you doing well it was for me that was my promo so I, I that's a good service I mean lots of uh, lots of lots of crap there uh, from, from my comment about Apple Music, but Apple Music is, is effing easy. I subscribe to that thing. I get in the car, I plug in the phone. I, I The only part I hate about it is the Hey Siri, because I, I, hate, I hate that part. But after that, it's done. Done, son. So super easy. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't listen to it or use it enough, but that's a, that's a, that's a good system in my book. I, I'm just saying. So, oh, there's a police car going by, too. Uh, somebody shot somebody. That's not funny. Anyway, um, yeah, that that wasn't funny. Anyway, so sorry. So we go. Let's let's do, let's get away from that horribly inappropriate comment and uh, get to. Um, uh, okay, so podcast video. The prospect of finding and purchasing a physical item is a tough sell. I may be in the minority, but the majority of my comic reading comes from Marvel, DC, and Comicsology apps. I may be a fucking idiot, and you have probably covered this topic before. But why aren't the publishers kneecapping themselves? by not fully embracing digital. You often talk about other avenues for comic sales, and this one seems like a no-brainer. For people who prefer physical, have a code for a digital copy. Does Marvel do this already? They did, and then they let it go. Um, and open up easier channels to purchase digitally, skipping the not-so-seamless iPhone, iPad, Amazon purchases. Offer tiers of subscription from the Marvel and DC app that give me day-and-date access to this week's new comics any of another thousand fucking easy ideas out there. Thanks to the answer perch and love the content. I'm with you. I mean, it's just dumb. And every time we talk about this topic, people come in and go, oh, I'm not buying digital. I like physical. Good. Keep buying physical. No one's stopping you. Keep buying physical. But for the love of God, can you not have a competent digital strategy? Like even the people who love physical comics have to look at what you're doing and just point and laugh at your your ignorance and, and dumbassery for not having a remotely competent digital approach. Like, look, I, I mean, I, I've joked about it before. The Shonen Jump app is magic. It's a great app. And it's cheap and it's easy and it's you can find stuff on it and it's like the search works and it's like it, it, it's good. So if you're, you know, Marvel in DC and you're in the digital department, like I feel like you you need like those people need to brought, be brought into an office somewhere and they they just need to be shouted at for like a, an hour of like how in the hell like this isn't even invent something. This is hey, uh, it, it's been invented already. It's done. Copy it. Swallow your pride and just copy copy it. Uh, because you're, you're, this is this is asinine at this point that it's this bad. There's no way it should be this bad. Um, I, I, I just it it blows my mind that it's uh, it's so screwed up at the publishers. Digital is should be a layup at this point. I think there's a lot of clever things, smart things, innovative things you can do with digital. I'm not asking for any of that. I'm asking for basic competence. Basic. Just do what others are already doing well. Like, you know, it, and it's so, it's it's ludicrous. This is one of those areas where we can talk about whether you like manga or you like 
Western comics better and the quality. You could we could have those those debates about taste all day long. But when the Shonen app is like rolling out an update, and it's like in this update you can, you know, voice search your manga. It's like we're not you're not even playing the same game at this point. It is it is like a pro football team playing like a bunch of drunk college students who know pickleball. That is the that's the equivalent of the matchup right now. It's ridiculous. Like uh, Marvel and DC should fire everyone in that team. Everyone. I'm sure there's wonderful people out there and you're very nice. And I, I guarantee I'll hear from one of you now, but they should fire that division and whoever's leading it. So ideally start with who's ever leading it and then fire the people who can't cope and just hire a tiny development team to just copy what's going on there. Cause it is absolutely ridiculous that you cannot, that, that this is easy. This is, uh, you know, being able to pee standing up without splashing piss all over the walls. Easy. Like, if you can't accomplish that, you're not a man. You don't know how to use your junk and, and go home. Yes. I, I, every now and then, uh, I, <laughs> sorry. Every now and then people will come in the comments and I see these fights break out between people. And somebody's like, well, I'll bet you pee sitting down. Like, look, if you're unable to control your junk and get to pee into the toilet, yes, sit down and pee. Yes. If you're one of those people that dribbles pee all over everything, sit down. You do not, you, you are, you have failed as a man. You don't know how to use your junk. Sit down. Absolutely. Sit down in shame. You can't figure it out. That's, that's all I'm saying. That's what this feels like. Like this, this the digital strategy for Marvel and DC feels like you are unable to pee in the toilet successfully. That's the, that's the level that we're at. Sorry, not sorry. That, that I, I, we can talk all day long about what Danny Lore is up to and all that kind of stuff, but this this is a clear-cut case of, screw you, you do not deserve a job. Point blank. You suck. Go home. Uh, I, I, there's, no, there's no excuse for it. I don't, I don't know that digital is the, the end-all, be-all of the world, but doing it competently, I mean, 10 years ago, doing it competently was harder. You know, it was a little bit mysterious. You had to hire an expensive mobile developer. Now, for God's sake, you can go to a college. I, I, did, I gave a little speech at a college a couple days ago around technology at uh, TCU. I, I've never been to TCU. I'm, I'm going to be real honest right now. I'm not entirely sure what TCU stands for. I'm assuming Texas Christian University. I'm not sure, but it may be. I don't know. All I know is it's over by Fort Worth and it's a pain in the ass to get in there because the traffic sucks. But I gave a, a talk at that college a few days ago about technology and innovation and all this other stuff. And if I'm Marvel in DC, shit, just go to the college and say, we would like some interns for a semester to build this thing for me. You'd get it done for free or nothing, no money, less money than you're spending on milkshakes. Go try that out because whatever you're doing now sucks and it fails. You're awful. I... Tell me how you really feel. Um, no, it, it's garbage. Garbage. And I, I do think that it is a detriment because if we're to believe that the younger generation, the kids, are going to you know, navigate to an iPad or an iPhone and they're not going to go physical, they don't want to go to comic shops, then, hey, dumbass, make sure you have a good digital app there. Don't, not at the expense of the collectors, not at the expense of the people doing printing, Here's the good news about that. You can keep trundling along on whatever you're doing in that business, which, by the way, I often think is incompetent on a regular basis. But, okay, keep doing whatever you're doing there. This is new. Don't take anything away from anybody. Just add. This is additive. Make it not stupid. That's all. That's, my, that's the big ask here. Um, anyway. I, look, it would be very easy to put your back catalog there. It'd be very easy to have a couple different business models where you can buy, you know, a la carte price per comic. You can do a uh, back issue, you know, all you can eat subscriptions. Here's the thing. If you're talking about like Avengers number 197 from, I don't know, that'd be the late 70s, right? I don't know what's in that comic. Somebody will tell me in the comments. Avengers 197. I'm sure something exciting was happening there. But You've already made the money off that comic as the publisher. The only money that's getting made off that comic now is by the comic shop. 
who's selling a back issue. And, you know, whoever's going to maybe slab it and grade it and whoever's doing all that stuff. Those are the people who are making money off it. The publisher makes zero money, zero, um, from comics more than, you know, six months old. No, more than that, because they can do trade paperbacks and other things. But you're, you're, you're not making any money off that comic. So why not make some money by making a competent digital app and selling that thing for a quarter? Like, literally, if right now the big two publishers put out a digital app or Comixology and they sold the comics from the past at their cover price, and why the fuck not? So why can't you put out a comic, you know, where the cover price says 15 cents? Sell it for 15 cents. What do you care? You're currently making zero. Zero. And you have no business plan to make anything off of it ever. So sell it at 15 cents. Why not get people all excited? Why not do something like, hey, comics, we're keeping the price on the cover the way it was. So, you know, X-Men by Jim Lee, dollar twenty-five. Again, why not? You're not making any money off of it today. You sold it years and years and years ago. The only people making money off of it are the comic shops. And maybe you, if you tie it into a trade paperback, but that's a printed copy and you're going to make that money anyway. So why not? Put it out on digital for that cost. I see these comics go up on Comixology for like four ninety nine, and the cover price is like ten cents. And as a consumer, like you're just a greedy bastard at that point. Sell it for ten cents. It's ten cents more than the zero you have today. Why not? What are what what are you hurting? Do it, and then maybe just maybe you get that comic into the hands of some people. Maybe you market your comics toward a mom and you say, hey, remember comics are all innocent back when you were a kid? Remember when you, you got the nostalgia feels for all those comics in the 70s and the 80s that were uh, cost, you know, like 25, 50, 75 cents? Remember those amazing days when uh, the comics cost that much? Do you remember those great feelings you had reading that kind of stuff when you were a kid? Would you like to share that with your kid? Good news. You could share it for the same price that you paid. When you were a kid, how awesome is that? Again, if you're Marvel, you're making zero dollars on that book now. You made all your money in the past. You're making nothing now. So why not t- go from the zero you're making now to 50 cents, 50 cents more, 50 cents, they'll fly off the shelves. You could take a chunk of that back issue market. By the way, what I'm saying right now somewhat fucks the comic shops. But as a publisher and for the greater health of the industry, this would be a good thing for everyone. This would bring health and security into comics. This would bring new readers. Cheap. A mom could go and, well, and and also, by the way, offer the just pay us $10 and you can read as much as you want. Screw it. But imagine the great, it's just a great marketing approach. Give us $10 to read everything. Or buy the comic for what you paid when you were a kid. Your kid can have the same experience. Bonding. Isn't bonding nice? That's what you could have. Go for it. Do it. By the way, I'm just some jackass who's slightly loaded driving around in a car giving this advice. You're telling me that the you know the MBAs, and that's a big joke because I doubt any of the people in these big two have the MBA, but, but I mean, you don't think anybody with a business degree couldn't give you the same advice I'm giving you? I am not giving you genius advice. I'm giving you super fucking obvious advice. Do it. Do it. Just just make some money. You dumbass. Yeah. That's that's all I got to say about that. Thanks for listening.